tell people what's up what's up what's up what's up we're back again back like we've never left you know what i'm saying okay um this episode is special because brian king is back yeah. even asking. though yeah even though rain wants to be part of this shouting <laughs> yeah but brian king is back everybody's saying bring brian as often as possible da, 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 da. today i'm gonna try to use my american accent to be you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Oh, my wife says my. Let me tell y'all, his American accent is just him drawing out his words. Like, yes, sir. But you say yeah. Right yes, yeah. Uh, ma, uh, what you say now? Uh, Cause I'm coming now. Uh, ha ha. Long Anyways, <laughs> yo, all I use, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To cover a lot of bum. Brian is here. Brian King is here. What's up? Yo. <laughs> What's your... Oh, I thought he was gonna say why we're here today. Is that what no, you I'm just saying? Uh, uh, my okay. wife is here, my beautiful wife is here again. Uh, remember, this is Mr. and Mrs. Godfrey. And um, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, and don't forget to turn on your post notification. Post notification and comment. you know, comment. comment, 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 comment. Read every one of your comments, and we'll really enjoy it. Yes, this will be interesting. Um, we first, before Brian starts talking, I have something I want to say. And tell, let me know, am I getting old or something? Because I'm not, I think I'm one of the coolest dad. I think you are. Mm. I would vote that you are. Thank you, baby. Deep. Um, <laughs> now, as a child, those days, I, I don't know some of you, um, that in your 40s and all of that, you have kids, I don't know what you're feeling like right now, but as a child, um, being in maybe primary school, no, secondary school, we we we, we didn't want our parents to come to school, um, but that's changing this generation though, because when your parents in Nigeria, then when your parents came to school, they're going to come and start shouting, some of them will slap you in school, beat you, anything can happen in school, and you feel embarrassed and all of those things, so um, some of us, um, Oh no, I wish I can tell the story. Maybe I'll share the story of my secondary school. It just came to my head now where I never, nobody ever knew where I was staying because we were so poor. So I was staying in the pastor's house. So the whole school didn't know that I was living in the place I was living, called Nasara. So one day I got sick and one lady that liked me started looking for, went to, started researching until she discovered where I was staying. She went to one place where all this panabita, I don't know what panabita, panabita is what I do. And then my dad was there, I looked at the screen from, say, this is like, who are you looking for? Say, or whatever my name was. And then pointed at her. Whatever your name is. Yeah, oh, called Timothy or something. <laughs> and then this girl was in front of the door. And then my dad opened the door. Our door would not open it. You put hand inside one side of the door and open this. And my dad opened the door only for me to open my eyes and see this girl in the house. That was one of the biggest embarrassments I ever received. Like, I was so ashamed of myself because they came to where I was really, like, it was rough. It was a crazy area. Anyways, so I'm saying this to say that some days ago, we were, <laughs> we were in the car driving. I went to the hospital. We're late to pick Brian up, right? Yeah. And then we, Brian was very, very hungry. You know, they had even told us to send him money to go and buy food. T t send him text. Okay, let me not go into that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, was he going to feed the whole school? Okay. Anyways, so, um, so we got to Chick fil A, his favorite joint. So let's, actually, we actually bought him something, but forgot went to Chick fil A. Yeah. And as we were driving in Chick fil I was driving wifey behind with a rain, and then Brian was in front. And then um, we got to where you normally get your orders or something. And Brian said, Oh, I think this lady, this girl is in my don't school. Don't say any names. No, I don't know the name. Okay. I can't even remember the name. Oh, okay. I think this girl is my school. 
I said, oh, when I turned to look, which girl, one beautiful white lady, um, and the girl was actually staring at him and staring at the car, and staring at us. I mean, I didn't think it was any problem. I just wind down my glasses and I said, he hey, it. what's up? <laughs> he knew he wasn't supposed to do that. So before I said that, Brian was saying, that no, 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 no. I don't really say, hey, what's up? He said, next my head, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He, Brian kept shouting. And my head I was saying, what's, oh my God, what's, what's going on? I said, hey, what's up? Um, you, I said, yes, the lady came to front of, um, I said, oh, he, he never talks to me. He doesn't want to talk to me. He does not even say hi to me. He never, I said, what? He still said, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I said, Brian, why are you not saying hi to her? Embarrassing. Is that, <laughs> hold on, is that embarrassing, guys? It, it was just embarrassing because you put him on the spot. No, I didn't know the girl was going to say he does not say hi, he doesn't say hey. He has never said hi to me. We, we are, I said, I said, but, so. So what's the question? So you, you think it was embarrassing? For him, was it, it embarrassing? was embarrassing, but I don't think the situation itself was embarrassing. I don't. No, but I mean. But I think it's just how he felt. He felt embarrassed. He felt. He felt like I don't talk to her before. Yeah, I'm not, like, I don't talk like, to her. He's like, no, dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> he kept begging, no, 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 no. Even when we're driving down, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I said, wait, am I getting old? Is there something I'm missing? Yeah, I feel like we both kind of missed something. Because I didn't yes. understand why he felt the way he did, but he did, you know? And he said what, he, what? He, he knows her from, they go to school together, and they also go to the same youth Bible study on Wednesdays. And and they went to that, oh, was the adventure camp? Or whatever that thing was they had in February. Mm -hmm. So they saw each other there, and then I guess they found that they went to the same school, but they don't talk to each other. Like, they're not friends. I guess they just know of each other. So um, for my husband to call her to the car, it was kind of awkward because they're not friends. They don't know each other. They just know of each other. But his reaction did have us thinking, like, yeah, crush on her or something? Like, why is this no, such I'm not a sure happy has, reaction? No, I'm not sure. Maybe she has. Me. Uh, I was thinking that. I'm like, I'm not, it just I'm seems like it's a little more here. I think maybe she, whatever though, but I mean, um, did you ever get embarrassed in school, Nigerian people? I mean, I think, I think that I'm the coolest dad, you know, when I used to go to Brian's school in Edgewood, Nigeria, I mean, sometimes we'll see ourselves and shake. One day we finish shaking, some of his classmates were saying, is that your dad? Oh my God, you guys greet like that? Oh my God, that your dad? Because, you know, I'm cool like that. <laughs> if anybody don't say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm cool like that. So everybody wants me to be their dad. You know, mm. that's, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. Brian, welcome to another episode. Yep, thank you so much. Yes. Right. When and you, when, we, when we told him that we were gonna share this story, he said, he said no, was not no, gonna no, do that no, episode. No, no, he no. told us he has rights. <laughs> <laughs> And he was gonna lock himself in his room. Which right? But look at him here, mm -hmm. facing yeah. his fears, no, being fearless. It's, uh, uh, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. You have anything uh, you want to say about that encounter? Uh, God is good. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, God yeah. is good means God is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So how's it been? You guys are wrapping up school now. Yeah. Um. It's been good. I had this promise with my dad. I was gonna get a PC. If I got all A's, which unfortunately, Rain said, as Rain asked, coming, is, it, is it looking like you? As we're coming to an end of the Oh, uh, oh we're hearing the story now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is our first time. <laughs> I don't believe that's going to happen, but I was close and I tried. So that's all. How many, how many B's do you have? Because the only thing I'm expecting is A's and B's. Yeah, let's see. Okay. One, let's one more. It's an 84. But I think I can still, like, it's, the chances are very, very slim, but I, there's a possibility I can bring it back, but... Well, you have one that is B, the rest are A. <sighs> Some, well, somewhere me wanted to say, ah, thank God, you, but, you know, um, we're going to get the... If you get all the A's, you have the PC. What's PC again? Laptop, right? Personal no, computer. it's personal computer. Personal computer, yeah. Oh, oh he wants a desktop. A PC, PC is. A whole P, like a whole so that he can be playing games and be doing all this. Um, no, no, he's not playing games. We're gonna block it. So, do you play games in there? Mm, I, well, that's <laughs> what? not going to start saying. Don't get into the loud camera. <laughs> we, we did. I did. When's the last time you played a game on, the, on your dad's computer? Save his truth and show the devil. Last time you told me not to. <laughs>
He shocked you. I don't remember the date, but yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. just being honest. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, one subject. I'm about sorry. Just, up. just um, Rain's teething, so she might be a little more vocal. People want to hear Rain. Yeah. Than usual. I'm just letting y'all know that. Yeah. So, um, this episode, we want to just talk, like, let Brian talk. So, um, can you let us know what, I mean, you spoke about the fact that, um, you said, when we asked you what you think about it, you said, God is good. Okay, so let's talk about God right now, or not, but let's talk, even talk about life generally. What do you want to be? What, I mean, you know how. Parents who want their like, those days, our parents in Nigeria want everybody to be a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant. That's all. Everything is not important. Doctor, medicine, accounting, or law. But I mean, I'm not one to ask kids to do mm -hmm. one particular thing or leave the rest. I want to have them make a choice of what they want to do. If not, I probably would have made him. I tried to. Well, he learns piano, but he left it. Well, that's not that thing. So, what do you? What are things you're looking at becoming in future? What do you have flair for? What do you love? What do you want to do? Um, first of all, let's say shout out to my dad for not imposing anything crazy except hey, for the piano. Well, What's crazy? Me first, <laughs> like, like all the other African regular African parents, that would have been like, oh. You're gonna be a lawyer, and there's nothing you can say about it. You're going to uh, doctors. You're going. To, you're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be this, that. He gave me uh, what did I say? Actually, options. He gave me you. free options, and he's continued to give me free options. I'm free. A free will, a free mind to pick whatever I want to do. But time is clocking, and time is getting closer and closer to the point where I have to choose very, very quickly. Or not quickly, but I have to, you know. Start making up your mind. Yeah, make up my mind completely on what I need to do. But so what are the possible things you want to do? So One, two, three, all, four, five things that you're looking at. Uh, first of all, piano. Dropped it so, so, so. I can't, I can't even. When I was seven, I used to play the piano when I was seven. I stopped playing till right now. Not right now. So, like two months ago, I've been building up. Okay, let's not go to that story because I know my dad wants to say something right now. How about how my uh, piano teacher quit because <laughs> he couldn't take it anymore? Child, I couldn't he was stressing oh the young, the my young man, the guy. You say, you know what? I know you're paying me salary, but I'm done. What you knew? Yeah, it was really, really bad. Um, <laughs> Every 10 minutes. What? Okay. Every 10 minutes, I would run upstairs and say, I need to use the bathroom. And then come back down. And then go back down, and go back upstairs again and say, Very oh, I forgot something. Then we would play for like two minutes. Then he would tell me, Okay, play what I just taught you. And I'll be like, Um, and then I, I don't know. I was a really, really uh, amazing person when I was seven <laughs> years old. And yeah. Wait. So tell but, us, why did, why did you do that? What was going through your head when you were stressing this man out? Was it for sport? Was it, did you mm, really have to go to the restroom? Like, some, oh. no, 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 sometimes I didn't even have to do it at all. I just go, get on my phone, scroll on TikTok. Back then, then after that, I think when I got caught, one of those days scrolling on TikTok on my phone, my dad took my phone, I deleted TikTok for like ever, and then, yeah. And guess what? We don't even know the things he's doing now that he's going to confess tomorrow. Now he's confessing. I'm just hearing this for the first time that all those going upstairs, well, all those things were just coded. That was those them. Things. Okay. That was them. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> where are we? Yeah, you're talking about the piano and okay, what, yeah. what you're doing. But piano, now you're going back to piano now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to focus more on piano. Um, trying to understand. So hopefully one of these days you can play piano for us, baby. Uh -huh. We'll mm. give you guys a recital. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully one of these days. Um, Actually, the next episode you should play piano. Let's see. Oh, he's coming next. That should be next month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. Yeah. He's been in there for like two months. I, I think he. Yeah. And he's teaching himself this time around. So. Yeah. I think he has something just for us. Help him out every once in a while. No. One or two songs. Nothing heavy. So. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. What else? Um, another thing, IT in Nigeria. I was also doing IT in Nigeria with my with the help of my uncle. 
uh, who's my dad's close friend now. Moses, right? Yeah, Uncle Moses. Um, now we play tennis and stuff. But like back then, every Saturday, I was supposed to um, do my classes. It was an online class. It was on Zoom. We always had to schedule it. And then one Saturday, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I just no, I didn't want to do it anymore. I just didn't pay attention. I just left it. And then uh, Uncle Moses was like, "Okay, I'm not gonna." <laughs> That's number two. Okay, but uh, okay, are you okay, saying this thing now? Now I, go, I okay. want to go back to IT. Um, hopefully, by the grace of God, when I get a new computer, that I, uh, yeah, okay, and when you make all your A's, um, yeah. yeah, and then uh, the last thing, what I'm doing right now in school, football. That's American football. American football. That's the yeah. handball they call football. No, it's football <laughs> because the ball. Okay, I don't have an expression on bus. Yeah, nobody, the nobody can justify. I actually researched that at some point. And nobody it, can justify why they call that in football. I, I forget why. It kind of made sense. It like, we'll tell y'all. In <laughs> yes. It is handball. If you don't think about it, it makes it's sense. It's only what they call, soccer is the only football that exists in this world. Every other thing. Anyways, so you want to also be do football too? Yeah, and uh, I've been striving, you know, trying to get the... Even though I was blessed with this body, which is like a very by good the way, structure. Um, maybe by the time of finish, we'll see whether Brian can stand. Brian is six plus, right? Six, 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 six or one. Yeah, six one. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I'm tall. Just that I hide my height. People yeah. don't see it. My husband's yeah. actually taller than mine. Yeah, but people don't see it. I just hide. I have a hidden. He's something. humble with his height. Oh my God! I'm not quite sure of yeah. Mm. Mm. I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so you want you do football. So those are the three things you do. You want to you are looking at um, piano. I thought you said production. No production. Okay, piano. I want um, to. I think production too. But like I think that kind of comes first, with yeah. piano. So eventually. then IT. Then what do you guys think? I mean, have you asked your kids what they want to do? Um, some of them. Some kids actually just literally get into doing something and just see that from kids. But I mean, from when they were little. In Nigeria, we don't have that much opportunity to do that, but I mean, um, I'm hoping to just sort of help him out, just move towards where he should go as far as. Um, I think another stuff. thing is that I have some stuff that I can do, but I don't see myself doing it as a whole job. Like I can draw. Yeah, um, I think we're going to put the drawing that he'd done, done before. He, he used to draw, one yeah. day he drew somebody's face, one day he drew an eye. Just eyeball, right? Yeah. It was it looks so real. You say it was ten? So, it was yeah. that ten or something or younger? It was so real. What ten? He just maybe he was, was eight nine, or nine. Eight. Oh wow. It but, was so real and then he dumps drawing also. I I've had a lot of things. Let's just say I've been very adventurous with my Let's uh, call it adventure, but this time around well, I'm trying to make him start focusing on some areas where he can really put Put something together. Um, the, a, a plan that he should go and maybe. What do you think? Next year he should go and if he likes Chief Lee too much, let him work there. Yeah, I said that. Money. Yeah, he yeah. can work there next summer. Yeah, I, 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 I like, I like allowing kids to. You know how I was talking to him earlier. How comfort is one of the biggest challenge for growth and for excellence and for just <laughs> achieving stuff when you're too comfortable so um having him go to work in chick-fil-a and be paid would help him just understand so hustle. responsibility yeah, earning yeah. i agree so I got my if you can do it this year it would have been good because I, I had somebody people do that you guys said 15 i thought it was I mean, it doesn't matter well where i grew up they and i'll look into that actually they have a summer um youth employment program where i think as young as like 14 or 15 you can get a summer job if you get summer job this time it's not bad though no i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying age-wise in DC, you can start as young as like 14 or 15, versus in other states, I think you might need to be like 15 or 16. Or you okay. might have to have no, a work we'll permit, or okay. we'll look into it. Okay. But no, I'm all for him having a you know a summer job, nothing during the school year because 
no, 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 and no, no. schoolwork is enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And not because he lacks anything, but just to give him that oh, no, yeah, sort of yeah. sense of responsibility. You appreciate things him. more, like I said, when you work with them. I said that before. Okay, so you have anything to say about those things? Uh, so, um, what are maybe your top three life lessons mm. that you are, you, are, you, are, you are holding on to? Okay, my dad, I would say my dad has inspired almost every single thing that I pretty much do today or that I try my best to practice. Like, so many things. Okay, let's start with one. This was a very, very long time ago. I think I was seven or eight. I think it was delayed gratification. Hmm. Like, the day he told me this, I was just sitting in my room studying something, and then, like, he came. No, I wasn't studying. I was on my phone. And he came and told me, Brian, you know, right now, all this time you're using it on your phone, you could be using it for later. He gave me this whole lesson. I think I remember what he said. He said, if I get a house right now, the house is going to appreciate in value. But if I get a car, if I had a million dollars and I used, invested it in a car and got a car, the car is only going to dep depreciate. And the only thing that's going to happen is um, everybody else around you, when you get the car, it's rev you're revving the engine. Everybody's going to be like, oh, who's the new guy in the neighborhood? Who has this beautiful car? Who has this Tesla? Who has this... Um, uh, uh, sports car, sports car, name BMW. sports car. BMW, yeah, Lamborghini. a sports car. Okay, Lamborghini. Lamborghini, yeah, Lambo. Who has this car? Or Dodge, or whatever you want to call it, whatever car. They'll be like, um, oh my gosh, he has this car. Oh my gosh, he's coming to the neighborhood. He's so rich. Everybody's going to be, want to be close to you. But in two, three years, that car's value is going to be so low. And it's going to be old. It's going to be something old. If you come back in that same neighborhood and drive it again, nobody's going to be on. Nobody's going to like it. Nobody's going to care at all. But with the house, even though nobody else is going to really care about the house, as long as you know that the value is going to continue to appreciate, then later on in three or four years, it would almost be double the money that you got for the house initially. So... I think pretty much what delayed gratification taught me was that you should always at least like try to do what you know is going to benefit you later in the future and sacrifice some stuff that you may want right now for later because mm -hmm. there's always time for any, everything and yeah so that was one really 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 deep thing for me all right so um that's number one what is number two number two mm. I think that's gonna be it's a thing he told me about timing i think every, almost everything is, was always about timing but there's been a few that are not about timing but okay and it was the three sections of your life morning afternoon and, li and night and evening yeah evening so and this is a really deep one because i think i was always playing around I never took anything serious. Well, I took stuff seriously, but I didn't really think it was ever going to come to a time where I needed to focus or do anything. But I, th I just felt everything eventually, whatever I needed was going to come to me. So I was just playing around, never really cared. But okay, yeah, let me start. Morning. He said the morning time, which is from like when you're born till you're. Previously, he said till you're 25, but now he says till you're 18 because yeah. uh, recently people are starting to like learn and get money and become successful faster than before because there, there are more job opportunities that could get you money easily and make you a successful person easily. But that's one. So morning is z zero to 18, All right? Then 18 to around 25, 30 is the afternoon, which is when you're, when you get married, when every other thing happens, well, not when you get, yeah, okay, when you get married, when all the regular things, after you've worked for your money at the early stage of your life, which is the morning part, you go to the afternoon, which is where you work even more, but not work 
harder because you already worked all the work you're, you're supposed to do in the early stage. So, and then evening is when you rest. You chill after you've done all the work you're supposed to do throughout your life. You just chill, um, take go on vacations, travel, and rest, and then you know you've done everything you need to do. And I think this is really aiming at the point that you need to always prioritize when something is needed to be done. Meaning you have to start with something first and make sure you don't get distracted by doing other things you're supposed to do later in life, like partying and stuff, all that can come later. But at the moment, what is needed for you to do is uh, is uh, to work for what you are gonna enjoy and get later. And this is pretty much saying uh, you rip what you sow. Because if you play around in the early stages of your life, later on, you're gonna be, I don't even know what's gonna happen to you, you're gonna be blessed. But um, if you focus, work hard, be dedicated, um, and forget the parties, forget everything, because eventually everything else is gonna come through. Yeah. So yeah, that's another big thing. Okay, number three. Number three. I think this one was like another good one, but I think it's more of a regular based, like day-to-day -day thing. Where this one's teaching me about what I'm gonna be doing later in my life. But not what I'm doing right now, but it's also a life lesson for me. How he's, he didn't really say this. Actually, he did. He said um, that he's always there to speak with me whenever I need me, need him to. So, meaning that no matter what the situation is, and no, no, okay, the truth will set me free. The truth will set me free. So, even if what I was going to tell him was going to get me in serious trouble and make my world almost end in my head, but it would eventually I'll get my consequences and I'll leave and move on and it will teach me not to do it again. But back then when I was younger, I always thought it's better just to lie, lie, lie and then move on and nobody will ever notice. But he told me that if you keep on lying, one of these days you're going to make up a different lie. And you're going to have to keep lying to cover up the lie you made last time. And then the lie you made last time is not going to correlate with one of the lies you make later on. And then the lies, gonna, lies are going to be confusing each other. And then one day you're going to get caught. And when you get caught, all the lies from the past and everything that you bring are going to be so much to the point where you can't even find a way to escape that lie. That big, massive lie is just going to be too much. And the consequences are going to be way worse than just telling the truth at the moment and also it clears your mind when you tell the truth as soon as you tell the truth it's over with you don't have anything to hide anymore you just say i did this i'm sorry i'm here to take the consequences back then the consequences may have been very harsh but they're needed i think beating it was very very bad one time <laughs> <laughs> some of the stories i have from the um beatings are very very uh horrendous but you know uh, it's better to tell the truth. More of the story is better to tell the truth than to lie. Always, 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 always. Which I've learned now that I'm a little bit more mature than when I was younger. Because then, oh my gosh, who told? Who took the chicken? <laughs> what? It wasn't me. I I, I just saw it. I I thought. The, uh, no, my gosh. Please. Oh, for all the kids out there, please, please, the truth. please Shame tell the down. truth. If you tell the truth. The most that can happen, you get in trouble, you get your phone taken, get grounded, you're gonna be free, your mind is gonna be completely empty, you're not you're gonna be guilty conscious, you're gonna, not gonna be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what if they find out? You're not gonna be scared about anything because you know you told the truth. And in the first place, maybe just try to avoid it happening in the first place. But at the same time, y'all, we're all kids and we make mistakes and but at the end of the day, you just always try to tell the truth no matter what. Wow, that's Wisdom. beautiful. That's Wisdom. Good. good. I like it. Yeah, so uh, one maybe one of these days we should just um, 
both of you and Bebe, we should discuss these three points. Okay. Um, delayed gratification, um, number one. Number two, mm, my, concept, stages of life. my concept about the morning time of life, afternoon time of life, and the evening time of life. How you can maximize and make the best out of it, and how you shouldn't miss any of those times. Because yeah. if you miss any of that time, you just have from one disaster to another. So, um, And then having to tell the truth. And it's okay for you to get to say the truth and face a consequence than lie to be free. You know, we should discuss that one of these days. I mean, I mean, maybe this will be beautiful for you to also share to your kids and for them to see some of these things because these are important lessons. Mm -hmm. Every kid wants to just feel like, no, I'm not the one. <clears throat> oh, I didn't this one. Life Don't get out of trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're beautiful. So that's wonderful. Well done, Brian. Come Thank on. You so much. I see okay. why y'all like him out here. So why is he on here? Uh, <laughs> that's why they're going to say, let him come back again. Come back again. <laughs> Brian, come back again. Brian, you come back again. You said once a month. So y'all can look forward yeah, to seeing him once, once, once a month. A month. We'll... Or even one, twice, once in two months. Go yeah, because he, you know, he's, uh, a he's busy. He has a he's busy with a lot of things. Set up himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the next one I want to ask, like, um, um, just let us know. Um, I, your favorite scripture. I know the scripture is gonna say though, but uh, your favorite scripture. Oh, I haven't heard it yet. So it's, it's why you know that you've been trying it. to learn. No, I haven't heard it from him. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Now my favorite scripture in the Bible. I think this is more of a thing where. It's really my favorite scripture because it's one of the scriptures I know off head and I know without any day you wake me up any day I'm just gonna say it straight but I think it's Romans 8 verse 2 so <laughs> this is only like a part of it but like in Edgewood my old school in Nigeria um, we learned we learned it and added to it as we progressed so we made like this really long thing. So the thing itself, the verse and uh, chapter, Romans 8 verse 2 is, um, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free, set me free from the law of sin and death. And then we added to it. Therefore, sin shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit who raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. So every time we finish our, uh, I made it like a kind of thing where we have to. Even when we pray. When we finish praying. Somebody I've been trying to let. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> for the last my dad this. So if someone speeds through it, <laughs> someone remixes it, and someone by the grace of God is still learning it. Yeah, so can you, you know, guess? You, you guess who? Yeah, guess, guess who? Guess who? <laughs> So guess who is learning the comment it, session, guess who speeds up, and guess who... Who changes the words every now and then. takes some words and uses it in, <laughs> in... Makes them his own. In King James. Oh, I said him. Makes them their own. Their own. I mean, they are okay. only... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Um, but so I love that scripture because it just helps you understand that as long as you are God's child, mm. he's always going to be there for you to take away all the sin. Sin can't dwell in you because God is already dwelling in you and taking that space from where sin is supposed to be working. Because God works, God's work can, like when there's God's work, like where people are preaching, where happiness is, where everything else is, the devil may try to get in. But the only way the devil would get in is if you let him in. And if you keep dwelling on the Lord's word, then there's no way it's not possible for God for the devil that's to come in. So yeah, and uh, oh, yes, that's why on. I really love that scripture okay. Okay. <laughs> because on, as long as you continue to fight temptations of the devil trying to come into your life, and you continue to do what you normally do, which is pray, read your Bible. Even though I'm trying to learn how to start to read my Bible, you know, I have some time where I would be able to read my Bible, but I use it. Uh, not wisely, but I'm starting to get there, and I would start to read my Bible more, so I could get so some. So every more time it comes, verses. we're gonna make him give us another scripture. Yeah. Um, a verse that so he wants to share to all of the one. world, to even all the other teenagers out there, to just be able. Let's do that stuff. If you've got some, send it to our Instagram. 
um, DMOs with your child doing um, a memory verse. We did that as kids a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when I was growing up, we have all of these memory verse that say, memory verse, some people will come and do like two chapters, some people will, do, some people that will read a full book of the Bible, like mm -hmm. they will pick Esther and read from the beginning to the end in their head. Man, I was not, I didn't do that one, Sha. <laughs> but you know, we're able to study all this Psalm 23, Psalm 24, John 3, 16. John 3, 16 was one of the easiest and most favorite. I forgot to so love the word. And it's the one that he, he uses it very often. <laughs> you may have heard him on one of our videos quoting John 3, 16. No, it wasn't no, no. quite so, John 3, 16. <laughs> so, this story is about some guy that does all this early morning um, preaching. Very early morning, five o'clock. They wake up in the morning. They have bell and everything in Nigeria. They'll just be going like on the street or on the street. Okay. And the guy will just keep going. Give your life. If you don't, you will die and go to hell. The Bible says in the book of John three sixteen that if you don't give your life to Christ, uh, you just everything, everything that he John quotes is John three sixteen. Everything. And uh, whatever goes up shall come down. John three sixteen. If you go forward, you will not John three sixteen. So that became fun for me and my guys at some point. Mastercraft and the rest of the world we used to say John three sixteen. Everything John. So that's what she's talking about. Not like yeah. So but I'm um, Brian will do that scripture. But that's just a beautiful episode that I think. I mean, people will want Brian to come back again and again. But yeah. it's good. Um, maybe what do you have? Um, maybe you just say what um for every child there and then prayers for every kid there. Oh, okay, I thought Are we there. were gonna let Brian pray for the children. Um okay he would pray briefly you pray. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So I'm starting. Yes. Okay. Um alright. Just just device your prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for this opportunity for giving us the spotlight to be able to influence other people in other people's lives to help them uh, make better decisions and help the children out there. Lord, thank you for bringing me to where I am today. Thank you because you've not limited my wisdom, which has been given to me by everybody who's, who I've been surrounded with. Lord, thank you because you continue to build me and build every other kid out there to become the best version of themselves. Thank you because you know, we know that you're going to keep us because of the next generation and we're going to lead this lead every single place we are. Lord, thank you because you're going to keep us <clears throat> from going into the wrong traps, going into the wrong places, stepping into the wrong groups, cliques. Lord, thank you because you're the best, you're the beginning, you're the end, you're everything to us. Oh Lord, thank you because you're going to continue to help us read your Bible, read the Bible, learn your word, understand what you want from us in our lives, and make us the best versions of ourselves we can be by keeping us closer to our families and keep keeping us closer to the people who love us and want the best for us. In Jesus' my name, we pray. Amen. 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 So, Lord, yes, Father, we just um, we thank you for this time of family uh, learning and sharing and um, being blessed by Brian's wisdom. Lord, we thank you for all that you've placed inside of him. And we thank you that it's going to continue to find expression um, in his life, Lord. Father, we just pray um, that our family would be a point of contact for other families, Father, who enjoy our channel. Um, let our channel not just be, you know, comedy and, and funny stories, but Lord, allow it to be um, a, a place where they can come and, and learn and share and, and gain insight um, as we get it from you, Lord. It is not by our power or our might, but it is by your spirit that we are able to share these stories, that we are able to have on this platform to share our experiences, um, the lessons and things that we're learning. So Lord, we just pray that the families that are watching us and that are on this journey of life with us, Lord, that you would meet them at the points of their need, that if they desire to have a, a, a more open and honest relationship with their children, Lord, that they would know that it's not impossible for you, that it is something that you can help them to establish. Lord, I, I believe that you give people um, action plans and ideas of how to engage their children, how to, to love on their children and allow their children to grow as, as individuals and as men and women of God, Lord. 
um, where in this world, this world, <laughs> the enemy is very crafty in this world, Lord, and he's he's finding new ways to infiltrate our children's minds. But Lord, by by your spirit, Father, we will um, we will continue to teach our children how to think for themselves and how to use the word of God um, to think for themselves, Father. We don't want to box our children in. So as as parents, Father, I'm praying for the parents that you would give us divine wisdom and insight on how to raise our children in this day and age. Lord, how to um, encourage our children to be bold, Father, to proclaim the word of the Lord, to share it with their peers and their classmates. Um, and Lord, to just just to be of, of use to you, to be your hands and your feet here in this earth. We plead the blood of Jesus over every family who um, will watch this, whether it be tomorrow or years down the line. Um, Lord, may we just all come into agreement with your Holy Spirit, whatever that is for our individual families. May we come into agreement with what you have planned for us. Mm -hmm. um, may we not think that there's one way to have a, a, a kingdom family per se, or or, or uh, everyone's child does not have to speak like Brian or or have the same experience as Brian to be um, of use and, to, and to, to, to receive the accolades that he receives, Lord. So we just ask that, that your, your spirit, you will have your complete and total way, that your will will be done in all of our lives, um, and that you will ultimately get the glory from it all. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And Father, we just say that um, for those of you, for those of those out there that have been living God for the foot of the womb, for the children, who mm -hmm. ask the Lord you bless them, we use just this video wherever they watch from as a point of contact mm -hmm. that in the next nine months we'll get testimonies mm -hmm. of them having their own seats in the name of Jesus. We know that kids were just custodians, we're just men and we pray that God give us wisdom um, to be able to train up our children in the way they should go and that when they are old they will not depart from it in the name of Jesus. In a world filled with distractions in the world filled with confusion in the world filled in the world where right is almost meaningless mm. in the world where wrong is now right there's nothing wrong with being wrong everything is just messed up and messed up we pray that you cover our children protect Amen. them Amen. from the wiles and the craziness of this world that they will represent you that as they get out there that kingdom godliness will be their, their way of life that they will make impacts that they would mm. go beyond even making impacts and their lives will be a perfect example for other children and in the end they would they would even use their life and their lifestyles to win souls even to you father we thank you bless every child bless every parent bless everyone out there in jesus name we're afraid amen amen, amen. well so thank you, you so much oh, i yeah? thought i was gonna ask brian if he wanted to close it yeah but I'll, let me just say thank you so much again um rain is saying um i mean she slept <laughs> Um, this has been beautiful. Um, please share this video if you can to everybody and um, let it be a blessing to them. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys for having me on this episode. And, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. We would love to see you guys interact with the video as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Send some comments, good ones. Not, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any negativity around us. Yeah, we don't do but, negativity. Yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you guys blessed, blossom, be the best versions of yourself, and be amazing. Peace out. Bye. Peace out. Yes. Bye. Bye. So thank you guys for joining us for another video. We're taking you guys small, small, you know, through our That's meeting and our relationship. Small, small, small is the Nigerian accent. <laughs> We're taking you guys to our relationship. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. subscribe, share. turn on your post notifications, and mm -hmm. share. share. Um, because other people can be blessed by this content as well. That's my wife. <laughs>